Hello everyone, this is Lynn from Blush and Plants and today I have a little haul for you. Um, I got this in the last month or so. So I wanted to share them with you. I got some stuff from Parasol Paper Co, um, Amazon, Hello PT Paper, um, Every Man is a Story, Joy of Planning, I think that's what it's called. Um, Simply Watercolor Co. Is that what her name is? And the Coffee Monster School. So I'm just going to try to do this as quick as possible. But let me go ahead and start with the Amazon stickers. Okay, so these two I got from Amazon from two different shops. Um, this is Ann Comina shop. And it's a hundred pieces, paper stickers. So I didn't really get to look at these yet. This is my first time opening it. So I'm really excited. So I don't know, I'm going to show this. So I'm just going to go through this really quick. So here they are. So let's just go ahead and run through these. Oh, they're falling all over the place. So these are nice. If you can hear that munching sound in the background, my dogs are eating. Their bowl is right next to my desk. I'm so sorry about that. So the reasons why I got these is they're really good stickers to use in a sidebar to take up space or to use in your, anywhere in your spread. And they're, they're just good stickers to take up space because they're so big. I can also leave a link on the bottom of the video if you want to check out the... Um, the stickers on Amazon. I forgot how much these cost, but it'll show on the Amazon link. So that is Ancomina. And the problem with these ones and the other ones that I bought before is they tend to be only one type of girl. They tend to be all Caucasian girls. So I wanted to get these ones because the girls are a little bit more diverse, but they're also much smaller. And the weird thing about it is they tend to have really big feet. Kind of like, you know how the brass girls had really big feet? Oh, this is hard to get out. So here's one. You can see those. Oh, there's three of them. So as you can see right here, those shoes are huge. So that's the only problem I have with these. But I got these because these were the only fashion girls on Amazon that were more diverse. This is the same thing. It looks like it's the same almost. But anyway, let's open them up and see what's in there. And this is what the background looks like. It just says stickers. I'm trying to get those mixed up. And let me see what it says on here. These are these are 120 pieces fashion paper stickers. So these are 120 pieces, but they are a lot smaller than the other ones. This is what it looks like compared to each other. So that's the size difference between these. You can see a difference. So here are what they look like. giant shoes oh my god I think that's a boy I'm not sure I 
I don't know if there's doubles in any of these. I think there's definitely some that's in here. Maybe it's the same pack. I'm not sure. So that's one pack. Let's see if this is the same. So the next one that I want to show you, this is um, from Paracel Paper Co. I want a giveaway for $30. So I ordered some things from Paracel Paper Co. And then I also paid, I think, $11 extra for this book because of this cost about $30. So let me go ahead and start with this one. This is a reusable stitch book. I think it's 4 by 6 I do tend to use a lot of reusable sticker books. This was one of the designs that they had available. They had a bunch of different designs. I don't know how many pages there are, but it looks like this. And the paper looks really, really nice. So there's a few pages in here. There's a lot. That's what it's made out of. And this is basically the front and end. Front and back are the same. So very, very pretty. And they went with $30. I ordered some washi tape. So I'm not going to um, unwrap them. I want to keep them in the same wrapper until I'm ready to use them. But this is what one set looks like. It's like a nice constellation theme going on. Can you see that? And here is another set. I liked it because it's purple. This has holographic foil, I think. Very, very pretty. And this one was a standalone. These are the moon, clouds, and some stars. I love the gradient. This is holographic foil or silver foil. I'm not sure. Probably silver. You can see that. That's what it looks like. And then I also got some sticky notes and some memo pads. Anyways, here are some babies that came with the order. Very, very cute. These right here, I got two of these. These are the Soft, soft Sky Sticky Notes. And these are, I don't know how much is in there, but that's what it looks like. Those are the sticky notes I got, and I got two of them. One for me and one for my daughter. And this is the small memo pad. I think this is a soft sky. I didn't realize I got almost the same design. And this is a B grade. So this is not sticking out. It's just a memo pad. Very, very pretty. And this is... No, this one. Which one is this? I think this is the pastel clouds. B grade. So this is really pretty. And this is a large memo pad. Cotton candy moonlight B grade. So this is the 15 millimeter, 7 millimeter Divine Constellation Foil Washi Tape Set. That's what the name is. And this one is the purple pink Sparkle foiled washi set. Oops. And this is the magic moonlight foiled washi tape. So that's what the names are. Very pretty. Please go check out their shop. They have a lot of cute things. Really, I want to order some more stuff. I really love their washies. They have I got introduced to them because I was looking for great washies on Etsy. 
and their shop came up because they had a lot of great washies i got some of the stuff before and there's some really cute stuff so let me go ahead and try is the joy of planning i believe that's what her name is this is a new to me shop so very cute yeah joy of planning i got i found her on etsy somebody else i forgot what her name was i think it's sparkle plants or sparkle planning i'm not sure it was on youtube but she had a whole bunch of joy of planning stickers and i thought they were cute but i didn't want to just buy a bunch of stickers that i didn't need so i got things that i thought i would be able to use so here is a little die cut here is their sampler or freebie here is a may calendar very very cute let me go ahead and go over the stickers that I picked out. So she has different sizes for all her stickers. I'm not sure what size I got. Let me see if I can find it. This size is the mini, I believe. No, I think this is one inch wide stickers. So here is the desk. Is this the desk? It doesn't say on here, but it says the desk right here. Then here is a Border Collie. I have a dog that's part German Shepherd, part Border Collie, but I can't find any stickers that look like him. So I usually get Border Collie stickers. I also got German Shepherd stickers. Let me see if I can find them. Right here which I thought was very cute. I think I seen Michelle from Exo Mama Plants use this sticker. So these two sticker sheets are for one dog. <laughs> then I have one dog here. This is the Black Pomeranian. This is Airplanes. I think next time our older, this one's bigger because she has a lot of detail on her stickers, as you can see, but it gets lost when you make it smaller so definitely a learning lesson here to get these bigger what size are these i think i got them in the mini size so definitely i'm gonna get them larger this is for my dog this is um the cotton day to lear my dog is half karen terrier half shih tzu so it's a mixed dog, and this is the only dog I could find that looks close to him. And I wish I got this, definitely got this bigger, because it is so cute. It is a girl trying to put her cat in the kennel so she can take it to the vet. And I love this. It is so cute, but I definitely wanted to get it. I should have got it bigger. But look how cute that is. Hopefully you can see the details. Is it furry? I can't tell. And this is for the pantry when I um, um redo my pantry and organize it. I want to be able to use these, especially the spice organizer, because my spice is my spices are a wreck right now. This is, I believe, the vanity. Very, very cute. And I'll be using these. And this is just another desk stickers. I like desk stickers because I'm constantly working at my desk and I'm also cleaning it. So I always like to mark that. So this is another one. I got these ones because I went back to, this is from Every Minute's a Story. And sometimes they have stuff on low stock that goes, that sells out. And I missed out on a lot of things that I wanted that I should have bought earlier. So I got a little FOMO. So I went back to his low stock section and I ordered some stickers that I was afraid would sell out and I would never be able to get again. So this is the journaling card that came with it. It's very, very cute. I keep all my journaling cards, but I don't know what to do with them. They just kind of sit in the album. This is the freebie that came with it. Right here. Here is a Tigger die cut. All of these right here are on the low stock section. 
So I definitely want to get this one because Tigger and Eeyore are my favorite. But I only want to get once I got Tigger. And I ordered these before. This is the Doodles one. I'm not sure what it's called. But it's a little beanie drawing. Or having a pencil. And I do use this a lot. So I want to get some of those before they were gone. This is a camping. I am thinking about taking my family camping for the first time ever. I don't know how that's going to work out, but it sounds like fun. It's something that, something different but than what we usually do. So I got some camping stickers because you never know. And then I got these stickers for summer. These are Seize the Days banners. Does she have a name on there? No, she didn't have a name on there. See, today's banner, she has a name on the newer ones, I guess. So this is what it looks like. It's all summertime banners or seaside banners. And here is Aloha, which is very cute. I might want to use this to mark Aloha Fridays, which I usually do every single week. So she has the hibiscus, the hula girl, a bunch of flowers, and some leaves. Or palm leaves. So it's very, very cute. And then I got this for Christmas. She had a bunch of Christmas stuff still in low stocks. I wanted to pick some up. Well, I picked one up. I should pick up some more later. But this is what it looks like. It's just a bunch of gingerbreads hanging out. So cute. And I already ordered this sticker. But I was afraid that it was on the low stock. So I went and grabbed one. Because I thought I would miss it. And I didn't get this one before. It's just Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets us behind or forgotten. And here are the three characters. Little Stitch and Scruff or Scrump. Oh, I can't remember. I can never remember her name. But it is so cute. Let me go ahead and get this one out. So I made a very small order to... The Coffee Monsters Co. And it's neatly packed. It's very, very nicely packed. And it's packed by Papa Tater. So here is the journaling card that came with it. It is huge. I don't know what size it is. 5x7. So here is the journey card. And what I got was I still didn't do my daughter's graduation day from 2021, which is <laughs> almost a year ago. So I'm using this for one of the weeks. And so the, I, I've been looking at this graduation kit for a while. So when I thought, oh, I need a graduation kit to finish up my uh, memory plan from last year. This is what I already um, thought of. She, I think she had this for a while. So I went ahead and picked it up finally. So this kit is graduation day. Here are the full boxes. Here are some checklist icons, um, flags, and uh, these, the hats. Graduation hats, one of those caps, the cap graduation caps. I don't know what they're called. And here are some of the functionals, which I think is very pretty. And to go along with that, I got these graduation countdown even though she already graduated I'm still going to use them so this is what it looks like and has a class of and you can always add the numbers there oh here is the freebie that came with it so it is like an office an office sticker look at her she's banging her head on the table very cute I like it so these this is my very small order. When I decide, I decide I really uh, made the order for this, but the graduation stickers, and then I decided to throw these in. So what I do mark in my um, planner is when I'm tired and I, I tend to have get really low energy because I didn't get enough sleep the night before. So these are the fatigue emojis. And these are sandwich emojis, which I'm going to use these ones to mark Subway. She also has the Subway sandwiches here. So these two, I'm mostly going to use this for Subway sandwiches. 
Then she has the McDonald's emojis. I mostly bought it because I need more hamburger stickers, but also because she just has the bag. Because sometimes I don't buy hamburgers and I just want to mark some and I want to mark that I got McDonald's, but I don't want to mark it with a hamburger or chicken nugget. Is that a hash brown? That's so cute. And usually I'm probably going to use this for McDonald's breakfast, which I like to get once a month. So that's why I got it. I was mostly for this one right here. This is the Mark Coffee Mondays or whenever I have coffee. And I thought this sampler was so cute. I had to get it. She also has a tea version. But I don't drink a lot of tea. Maybe once in a while. So I definitely want to pick this up. This is the bread and pastry doodles. I do bake like banana bread. So I'm probably going to use this stickers. And mark when I eat a croissant or a bagel. Or a baguette. Is that chocolate croissant? Those are cute. I don't really eat these. But if I do, I have the sticker for it. And this is the other stickers to go with the fatigue stickers. These are the simply sleepy emojis. So I'm probably going to be using these a lot. Look at that one. That one's wet. She's tired. These are the so tired emojis. Very cute. I already showed this one. I thought I didn't. Okay, I don't know what I did, but... I don't know if I showed these ones or not, but these are what they look like. That's it for my order from Coffee Monsters Co. Just a few more things and I'm done. So this is from Simply Watercolor Co. I think that's her name. Let me check. Yes, Simply Watercolor Co. And I love this envelope. I love Sanrio. I love Hello Kitty. So look at that, I was really excited when I saw this in the mail. And I just got one kit deco sheet and a journaling kit because I love Sanrio. She had more Sanrio kits, but this is the only one that I decided to pick up. Here are some freebies that came with it. Oh, that's upside down. Very cute. I don't know if this is a freebie or not. It's day thoughts with a rainbow on it or it came with the kit. So it's gold foil. So I forgot what the name of this kit was, but it's basically Samuel characters at the beach. And I think it's cute. Look at this Karomi mermaid. Very, very cute. I love it. I like Pachaco. Pachaco is definitely my favorite. And here is the journaling kit. This is all on matte paper. I think you can also get it in glossy, but I usually just get mad because you can write on them. That's the journaling kit right here. And it is, it matches both the deco sheets and this vertical planner kit. This weekly kit. And this one is gold foil. You can see the foil. Am I too high up? I don't know what's the best angle for this. But this is what it looks like. It is so cute. I love it. This is perfect for when we go to the beach. If we do, if not, I'm still going to use it for summertime. Here are the date covers. I think these are washi, some boxes. And here are the washi strips, which has Hello Kitty running across. And she has these kits in three different sizes. I'm thinking it's the ultimate, the deluxe, and the mini. I don't know which one this is. And I don't have um, the receipt. So I don't know which one this is. This one is icons, some bow headers, some boxes, all foiled, some flags, more washi strips. This one's not foiled, but it is still cute. How much boxes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these can be your weekly tracker, even though it's not marked. And that's what that looks like. So that's it for my order from Simply Watercolor Co. This is it for my um the last part of my haul. This is from Hello Kitty Paper. She was part of a sale, and I don't remember what the sale called, but she had a lot. 
a sticker kit that I wanted. She also had a section that was already discounted. So I didn't get any more discounts. It was just discounts on the full price ones. But the sale price, the sale price um, stickers were, were already such a good deal. So this is her journaling card for it with the foil this is the back and she had a nice little note and they are pretty much all wrapped up in cellophane except for this one did i buy two of these i don't have my receipts so i don't know what i ordered honestly but i guess i got two this is a shorter box. I think this is a B6 one. And this is a kit. Well, anyways, let's go through all the kits that were full price that I got on discount with the sale. So this is my favorite one. This is called Jasmine Kit. And I had to get it. I thought it was so pretty. Jasmine is one of my favorites. So this is what it looks like. I love these full boxes. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. So beautiful. And I don't think these are foiled. I think they, you could have got them foiled, but I didn't. I should have got it foiled because now I'm kicking myself in the butt. Because this would have looked great foiled. But it is still so beautiful. Sorry that I'm not telling you what's on there. I'm just I'm just checking it out myself. It's the first time I've seen it. And I just want to look at it. So that is the Jasmine kit. Very, very pretty. So this is another kit that I got with a discount. This is Moonlight Magic. And I thought this one was also very pretty. So I picked this one up. Oh, I bent it. My fault. So this is the full boxes with the constellations. I love these colors. I don't get a lot of kits in these colors. When I do, I love it because purple is one of my favorite. Here are the date covers. Some boxes. What is this? Oh, it's just one washi in different colors. So this is the habit tracker. Here are some boxes. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can use this as a weekly tracker if you want. And here are the checklists, the flags, the icons. Oh, here's a weekly tracker right here. So you can use either one. And she also has some scripts. And here is the washi. Very, very pretty. Oh, I thought I was done. There's more. So here are the other ones. These were already discounted. So they were already such a good price. So let me... Oh, this is the freebie. I keep showing you the freebie at the... In the middle of what? In the middle. I don't know what's going on. So, oh, look at these. Oh, this, it was the ultimate planner sale. So this is from Not Do Sticky Studio. Are you going to read that? I hope, because I think I mispronounced her name. So I'm hoping you can read it. Is that too high? Hopefully you read that because I can't pronounce it. Oh, there's more. Let's go through these. So here's Ohana Story, which is one of my favorite stickers. This is Smart Crafter. This is new to me. I never heard of it before. And here is Planner Monkey Co. Very, very cute. And I never heard of this one before. Under Little Pence Paper Co. But it's so cute. I love it. Those, those would be well loved. 
and here is the samplers that go together this is probably from herself but look how pretty this is i hope i can use this one two three four full boxes so trying to find a way to use these because these are so pretty so i think what i'm thinking is this was an extra she put in there because i don't i don't think i ordered that unless i did it by accident but let's go to this one first So I don't know if she still has kits for sale, but these were already sale price when I ordered them. And I think this is glossy. So this is glossy. She had both a dark girl and a light girl. I got this in light because I think that's all they had. This is what the full boxes looks like. Here are the washi strips along with the um, weekly tracker. I think this is in her order format. But I do love her kits. I just need to order more. I don't order as much as I should. So these are all glossy. And here is matching b6 let me see what else these ones are just full boxes that i got so this is the book lover this is the happy planner full boxes so this is what it looks like hope that glare is not too bad and this is on matte this is the flower market these are just the full boxes very very cute and here this one i also got was also full price and then i got the discount on it i should should show you this right after the other two kits but this is the celebrate mini kit here are full boxes there are eight full boxes so this this page also and here are functionals the checklist some icons so that's what is in the mini kits and then one more and then we're done so this was also in her sales section these papers are glossy this is the romance kit so here are the full boxes here are the washies with some icon here are the boxes and here are the checklists. I don't really use checklists very much. Unless I really have a lot of things to do, which I don't, honestly. And here are the glittles. So that is it for Hello Kitty Paper. I forgot her name. So let me put this all together so you can see it one last time. That's all I'm going to put down because I basically made a mess instead of trying trying to show you what's available let's put that there and also the girl stickers that i got right over here so that's pretty much all i can fit into the frame so now i'm gonna have to organize this anyways i want to thank you for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope to see you again aloha